Okay, uh, we're going to go over a few Lightroom basics. Uh, Lightroom is a professional editing tool. I love it, actually. It's, it's so cool, so much fun to work with. Um, I never thought I'd say that because when it first came out, I didn't really like it. I was used to Photoshop and, and some other things. But hey, now that I've used it for a while, uh, I really like it. So to get started, you've got to import files into Lightroom, uh, your picture files. Um, you can do that by clicking this little button. Um, my computer will chug here for a second and it's going to look select a source. There's all these files that we could import. Um, I'm going to cover that more in detail in another tutorial, but just know that you first got to import your files um, to get in there. So for this case study, we're just going to pick a picture and we're going to edit it real quickly in Lightroom. And here's all of our shots from that day. Uh, the family went out and shot those senior pictures. Um, let's just pick this one. Uh, actually, let's pick this one. Um, it's under a shaded bridge. Uh, we used a reflector to bounce in a little bit of light, but it's still a little underexposed, I would say. Um, we've got a nice creamy bokeh background um, right back here where, where the river is and, and the trees next to the river. So um, first place, our first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, let's just double click it and get it open into a larger, there we go, sorry, should have done that earlier before I started talking about it, but hey, we're all following along. Um, so what we probably need to do is maybe lighten up um, some of our face. Um, so over here is our quick develop module. You can see these, these modules over here. Um, there's a quick develop that we could use, or we could go into the, um, the regular develop module, which is what we're going to do. But you could adjust a few things, it, you know, if you just want to do something quickly, you could do them here. But let's pull down the top and we'll see, and, and a lot of times Lightroom will hide this stuff from you, so you just got to look for these little arrows like this. And as soon as you hover over them, your menus will show up. And that's just, I think, to make room for everything on the screen. There's a lot of features in here, and you know it, it gets crowded, so I think that's why they do this. Um, so highlight this, and then go to Develop. And here we see our photo will pop up. Let's make that go away. There we go. Our photo will pop up with all this new information over here. This is our develop uh, effects, uh, modules, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we can adjust exposure if just by changing sliders. And let's just adjust that up a tiny bit. Then we can adjust our contrast to bring in a little more dark and light separation. Uh, we can go with highlights, shadows, we can make our whites more white, our blacks more black, which is really kind of a, another contrast adjustment. Um, another slider I like is this vibrancy slider. And what it does is it's, uh, it does some saturation adjustments. Um, you can see how it's changing that right now. Um, so there we go. I, I actually like that. I don't even think I'm going to do anything else to it. Um, it lightened up her face just by sliding a couple sliders. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and do one more thing. Let's do some, some uh, of these vignetting. If you go down to effects, and you can see you can just click these to make them collapse and expand. Um, this is a post-crop vignetting, and we can do an amount. Now if we back this down, it's going to darken the edges a tiny bit. See how those edges dark? If I slide it all the way down, it makes it really dark. But uh, if I just do a tiny bit, again, one of the effects I just like to do, just because it draws your attention into the middle of the photograph where our uh, subject is. And I think I'm going to leave it right there. I just, uh, oh, and then this is the opposite effect here going the other way. So, so we go, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong slider, the amount here. So this is the opposite effect going this way. So you can see how easy these sliders are in Lightroom. So we can have a, a white one to blow out the edges, or we can have a, a, a dark one to make the edges darker. I'm just going to back off just a tiny bit right there. OK, so that's all the edit we're going to do. Um, now when we're done in Lightroom, um, it's automatically going to save these changes. But the cool thing about Lightroom is 
it hasn't changed our photo at all. All it's done is kept a, an XML file of these changes we've made. And then every time we click to this photo, it's going to apply those changes. So our original is still there. So if we want to save our edited picture, we've got to go into uh, the file menu right here. Here's your menus in Lightroom, right? So let's go to the file and let's do an export. And we can export to specific folders. I'm going to go ahead and do it to the case study folder. Um, uh, we can, you know, add all kinds of conditions here. That we want to do, we can we can rename the file um, by putting this on the front and then adding the same file number that's it, that's the original to the end, which is what I like to do. Um, I resize this to put on the website um, or into a video. Um, I'm going to go to resize by the short edge, um, and we put a little watermark on there to uh, to for the website just to. Just to let them know it's ours in case it starts floating around the internet. And then we click export. And that's all there is to it. Uh, now we have a JPEG file saved of our edited picture. I can pull in the before, I can compare it to the after, and, and I think we'll be good. Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to work on this uh, Lightroom a lot more. Stay tuned. Uh, sign up for the free updates on the website if you want to get notified when these videos come out or these. Uh, tips and tricks come out. So uh, DIY Senior Pictures, DIYPortrait.com. Thanks for watching. See you.